Guide. Today we're looking at the scariest bridges around the world. The Kwandinsky Bridge in Kwanda, Russia. The Kwandinsky Bridge was built about three decades ago as an addition to the Bakal Amur Railway. The railway was unfortunately never finished, so now the abandoned train tracks are being used as a bridge for cars to get to the other side of the frozen river. The big kicker here is that this rickety bridge doesn't even have a railing and is constantly coated in ice and snow, making it incredibly dangerous to cross. The pathway is only six feet wide. That's only about a foot or so bigger than the average SUV. The bridge is also made of rotting extremely old wood and is constantly falling apart, so it's not uncommon for drivers to get out of their cars to fix holes and loose panels in order to cross. You'll also see drivers rolling down all their windows in order to prevent sweeping winds from knocking them off the 1,870 foot long trek. Despite the sketchiness of this bridge, there actually haven't been any accidents or fatalities associated with it. We say it's because of the cool, steady nature of the Russian people. Nerves of steel, I tell you. The Vine Bridges of Aya Valley, Japan. Originally built in the 12th century during the Genpai War, the vine bridges of Aya Valley are exactly what they sound like. A huge bridge made of mountain vines swinging over the babbling jungle river. It sounds like something straight out of Jumanji, but we promise this is not a work of fiction. It is believed that the bridge was first built by the Haiki clan, who took refuge in the Aya Valley after their defeat in 1185 during the Genpai War. This bridge is ancient and we're super surprised it's still holding up. The bridge was meant to protect the high key from enemy attacks and if anything happened, they could just cut the vines and send their enemies to their deaths in the river below. The bridge gets rebuilt every three years or so and now features steel cables amongst the vines as well as more planks to walk on. The original bridge had 12 inch gaps between each plank. Nowadays, you can see tourists braving the bridge and taking in the scenery of the Aya Valley. Just don't look down. Glass Skywalk in Tianmenshan National Park, China. Built about three years ago, the glass bottom bridge at Tianmenshan National Park is definitely one to check out. The bridge stretches to about 1,400 feet long, 980 feet off the ground, and is about 6 meters wide. It's actually huge. To give you an idea of how big it is, the Grand Canyon Skywalk is 69 feet in length and stands about 718 feet into the air. That's peanuts compared to this behemoth. The bridge was designed by Israeli architect Haim Dotan, who also designed Israel's Expo 2010 pavilion, so you know it's going to be pretty sturdy. Dolan says that the bridge will be used as a runway for fashion shows down the line and will be able to hold up to 800 people. The bridge also features the world's highest bungee jump, allowing tourists to dive off the mammoth bridge into the valley below. It's a glass bridge of epic proportions. We just hope it doesn't shatter. Ishima Ohashi Bridge in Japan The Ishima Ohashi Bridge is hilly, to say the least. It was originally built in this deep incline to allow ships to pass under the bridge. The bridge links the city's Matsu and Sakia Minato in an upturned roller coaster like V shape, easily comparable to a water slide. The concrete bridge spans around one mile long and is about 11 meters wide, allowing plenty of room for cars to cross. Thousands of vehicles pass this bridge every day. The bridge was even featured in Daihatsu Motors commercial to prove the durability and speed of their minivan. I guess that's just how intense this bridge is. It's like the ultimate test in vehicle performance. Next time, skip your annual trip to the theme park and take a ride on the Ashima Ohashi Bridge. Husayini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan The Husayini Hanging Bridge is like the definition of rickety. The bridge barely even looks finished, with cables fraying and planks all chipped. The bridge connects two neighboring villages over the Borat Lake and at a glance looks mighty scary. But those who cross it don't seem to be bothered due to the bridge being named after a popular religious figure, Shajra of Hazrat Imam Hussein. They believe that he's protecting them as they cross. We, on the other hand, think they're just straight up deranged for even considering setting foot on this rickety nightmare. It's considered to be the oldest and most terrifying bridge in the country, with people from all over the world flocking to the Husayani to take pictures of themselves on what looks like a glorified craft project. The area locals will cross the bridge like it ain't no thing carrying huge packs on their back, choosing to risk their lives as opposed to walking around the mountain, wasting two hours of their busy workday. The spirit of Shajra must be really working. 
suspension glass bridge and Shinuzu National Park in China. What's with China and glass bottom walkways? This impressive foot bridge is about 872 feet long, 6.5 feet wide, and hangs over the beautiful scenery of Shinuzu National Park. Though it's not as high as the one in Tainmanshan National Park, it features something that puts it on a whole other category of scary. In the last few meters of the bridge, a cracking effect gets ignited under the tourists' feet. It's simply a special effect, but the majority of people run for their lives during the last bit of the path, making for a truly unforgettable experience. Experience. The tour guides think it's funny, the tourists, not so much. Longjiang Suspension Bridge in Boishan City, China There's something just so inexplicably scary about suspension bridges. I mean, they're held up by ropes basically, so that's sketchy. The Longjiang Suspension Bridge is billed as being the longest and tallest bridge of its kind, spanning 3,900 feet, making it only slightly shorter than the famous Golden Gate Bridge. It was built with the intention to cut off half an hour of travel for motorists going between Boishan and Tangchang. The Chinese government paid $150 million to complete construction on the bridge. And now you can see cars whizzing by 920 feet above the valley. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to put my life in the hands of the Chinese government. Tidless Cliff Walk in the Swiss Alps Bridges are fine and dandy when they're in a warm jungle or sunny valley, but what about a bridge that's 1,500 feet above a glacier in the Swiss Alps? The Tidless Cliff Walk is a footbridge that hangs about 9,000 feet above sea level, which is super high in any bridge standard. The path is about 330 feet long, only 3 feet wide, and made of industrial grade steel, making the handrail very cold to the touch. Upon opening, a snowstorm blurred the view beneath the bridge, making the walkers feel like they're walking over a cloud of some sort, which would have been either super cool or super scary. The bridge is meant to attract tourists who want to take in the snowy mountain scenery without busting out the skis. All we know is that if we were crossing that bridge, our mittens would be totally glued to that ice-cold handrail. Agui du Midi in Rhone Alps, France The French are known for their fine wine and romance. But did you know that the Rhone Alps in France is home to one of the highest running cable cars in the world? So, not exactly a bridge, but you could say that the Maidai cable cars are like a moving bridge taking tourists across a 1200 foot drop above the mountain landscape of the French Alps. You also have the option of stepping out into a glass cage that hovers over the mountain edge as well as a short footbridge that spans across two of its spires. It's the kind of journey that's only suited for the most daring of daredevils. The Confederation Bridge of Canada If you're a Canadian, you've definitely heard of the Confederation Bridge, an eight-mile-long bridge that connects the provinces of Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick. The bridge is considered to be the longest in the world, requiring about four years of labor from over 5,000 workers to complete the construction. We wouldn't necessarily call this bridge scary due to its refined structure and solidity. We would consider it, though, to be one of the most impressive bridges in the world. The Trift Bridge of Switzerland Another bridge over the Swiss Alps, except this one is hanging in mid-air. I'm getting scared already. The bridge was built in 2004 as a response to the rapidly melting glaciers. The once massive glaciers were no longer high enough to take visitors to the main hut, so the Trift Bridge was born. The bridge is modeled after Nepalese-style three rope bridges, so it's not super sturdy but it gets the job done. Spanning to almost 600 feet long and hanging about 350 feet off the ground, the swinging bridge is not for the faint of heart. The path itself is only wide enough for one body to pass at a time, and the ropes don't feel like the most sturdy thing in the world to be holding up a bridge in freezing cold climate like the Alps. Karakareed Rope Bridge in Northern Ireland Ireland is a magical place, so it's no wonder it's also home to a mystical looking rope bridge that looks like it's straight out of a fairy tale. This special bridge connects the mainland of Northern Ireland to the tiny island of Carrickareed. It's a wee bridge, spanning only 66 feet and hanging about 100 feet above the rocky shore below. The bridge literally looks like it's hanging by a thread. The pathway is made up of thin twine and wood, and the structure itself is held up by basic rope. It doesn't get much more medieval than this. You definitely feel like an explorer from a storybook when you cross this one. Rumpelstiltskin, is that you? 
Capilano Suspension Bridge in Vancouver, Canada. The beautiful nature-ridden city of Capilano, which means beautiful river in Objiwe, is home to one of the most magnificent suspension bridges in the world. Built in 1889, the Capilano Suspension Bridge stretches over 450 feet long and 230 feet above the Capilano River. Some people say that it can hold the weight of 98 full-grown elephants, which is actually really comforting to know considering how high up it goes. The view from the bridge is absolutely beautiful. People from all around the world come to Capilano to walk across its most iconic bridge. Langkawi Sky Bridge in Mount Mat Singkang, Malaysia The Langkawi Sky Bridge is super, super high up. 328 feet to be exact. What makes this bridge special is that it's curved like a crescent moon, giving the walkers a unique panoramic view of the surrounding scenery. The bridge spans about 410 feet in length, which is pretty long if you ask us. The construction of the bridge was complicated due to its curved nature. It actually had to be built on the ground and then airlifted by a helicopter because it was just too difficult to build the curve on site. People from all around the world come to visit the famous Langkawi Sky Bridge and pay big bucks to see the best view in all of Malaysia. Puente de Ajuala in Mexico the Ajuala Bridge is an iconic landmark in the city of Mapimi, Mexico. It was erected back in 1898 and still stands today as a tourist attraction. It's crazy long for a footbridge, spanning almost 400 feet, and the construction truly evokes memories of the beginning phases of the Industrial Revolution. Lots of old wood and rusty steel. The bridge hangs high over the Ojuela minefield, giving the walkers a great view of the historic sites of Mapimi. So, there you have it, 15 height-hitting bridges that make the Golden Gate look like a cakewalk. If you enjoyed this top trending video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.